Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Welcome to a new video for 1.1 reaction read. In this video, what we're going to learn is actually how to determine the order of the reaction using half-life based, uh, based on the graph of conservation against time as well as linear graph method. Okay, so previously, we have learned on how to determine the order of reaction by using initial rate method. So which one is the initial rate method? Uh, this one, the examples on page 4 itself. Okay, so right now what we're going to learn is uh, two different ways, uh, another two, another new different ways to determine the order of reaction using graph. Okay, so on your notes, let's look here on page 8. Uh, so the first graph and the second graph. So uh, here we have the linear graph method as well as half-life method. Okay, these two uh, is, uh, is also ways to determine the order of the reaction. Okay, so without further ado, let's look for the examples itself because um, for, from the previous video, I've explained it but it's kind of weak because we do not have any value yet. So let's do it together then. On your notes on page 9, so here it mentioned the half-life method determine the order of the reaction and the rate law. Okay, so from this equation, okay, before anything, we're going to write down what is our rate law. So our rate law, remember rate, is equal to our rate constant T and then the uh, concentration of reactant. In this case, concentration of reactant uh, is H2O2 raised to some power, which is the order of the reaction. And it is unknown. This one is what we're going to find out. Okay, so how to do the half-life method? It's actually what we're going to do is actually we have to plot a graph of concentration against time. Okay, besides that, what we're going to determine, because remember, half-life means that when the concentration drop into half. Okay, so for example, if the initial concentration to, uh, is, the initial concentration is 1, uh, first half-life is actually when we drop it into half, uh, 0 0.5. A second half-life is actually when the concentration uh, drop into another half. So from 0 0.5, drop into half, 0 0.25. Okay, then from the first half-life and the second half-life, then we can compare it and determine the order of the reaction. Okay, so without further ado, let's look here. For the case of H2O2, the initial concentration is 1 molar. Okay, and then for the half-life method, we have to determine what is the concentration first. What is the concentration for first half-life and the concentration for second half-life? Okay, the value of time 2 is fine. We're going to find out from our graph itself. Okay, so from 1, when we drop it into half, it's 0 0.5 molar. Okay, when the first half-life, uh, 0 0.5, we're going to drop into another half. So it will be 0 0.25 molar. Okay, so from here, we cannot determine it straight away. Okay, uh, is there any value 0 0.5? Uh, there's none, okay? 0 0.47. But it's not half, it's not, uh, it's not half lah. Um, it's not the half-life itself. So when it's 0 0.25, we do not have any value. It's very near to 5, but we do not know specifically. Okay, so here on your notes, actually I have provided the graph paper to you. Okay, the, the margin is quite small. So what, what I have done here is actually I have maximized. I use all of it. So for those who did not print it out, you, know, you can use your own graph paper. Okay, so for the half-life, we have to do concentration against time. So here I start with 0 here, so here it's 1.0, and time start 0 here is 6. Okay, so I have plot all the points here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, and then when you try um, when you try to connect all the crosses here, you won't get, uh, you do not get uh, a straight line. Okay, if you get a straight line, then you know straight away that it's actually... Um, a zero order reaction. Okay, so for the half, uh, so right now it's actually a curve one. So for the curve one, it's either first order or second order. Okay, so how to determine it? So let's look um, for the time itself. Okay, remember first half life is actually when it is 0 0.5. So here 0 0.5 concentration and we know the time here. So when the time here is actually here, I've written down beforehand. The concentration here is actually uh, uh, the time taken for the first half life is 2.8 minutes. Okay, so here is straight away lah because you can determine it from here. Here to here is 2.8 minutes. Okay, so that is the first half life. 
for the half-life method, we have to um, compare the first and second half-life. So, for the second half-life, it's when 0 0.25. From 0 0.5, drop half 0 0.25. So, we're going to do here. Okay, and then we're going to plot here. So, I get here 5.4. Okay, so uh, the second half-life is 5.4. But right now, um, we're going to take the second half-life is actually the time taken from uh, uh, after the first half-life itself. Lah. So, we're going to take this one. Okay. So from here, what we get the uh the time taken is actually two point six minutes. Okay. So again, why do I um have to know from here? It's actually based on the graph itself. Okay. First half life is this one. Uh, the second half life is from T one until T two. We have to calculate it. It's not second half life. It's all of this. For the second half life, it's actually we have to calculate lah. Uh, T2 minus T1 to get here. So that's why here for this one, 5.4 minus 2.8, you get 2.6 minute. Okay, so for the first half life is 2.8, second half life 2.6. So I'm just going to write it down here. Okay, so from here, okay, we know that okay, it's either for the case of first order, it's actually the same, the same half life. For the second order, it's actually uh, the second half life is times two of our first half life. Uh, second half life is double of the first half life itself. So, as so we can see, it's 2.8 and 2.6. So, it's actually a first order reaction. So, we're going to write down the reaction is a first order. Then, the question itself asks you to determine the order of the reaction and the rate law. So, order of the reaction done, rate law. So, here from the rate law, now we can determine it's actually first order again. So I'm just going to copy paste it here. So X, uh, you can erase it or we're going to write down one point. It's one. Okay, so that is actually how you determine the first, uh, determine the order of fraction using half-life method. Okay, question B, I believe you could try yourself. But then it's actually, I'm going to give you the answer straight away. Lah. Uh, it's actually second order. Okay, so that is for question B. Okay, question B, you can try the next page of it. Uh, you can actually pause it here. Uh, my mana, you can pause it and try to, uh, if you do not get the point, boleh lah tengok. Okay, next, uh, on how to determine the order of reaction is by using linear graph method. Okay, so by using linear graph method, here it mentioned that plot a linear graph to show that the reaction is second order, first order. For linear graph method, uh, it will ask you, uh, it will give in to you, uh, what is the order of the reaction? Then you have to draw the linear graph. Okay, so because for the linear graph method, it actually depends on your integrated rate law. Okay, so from your integrated rate law here, okay, you have to rearrange the equation to get y equal to mx plus c so that you can plot what is y and what is x. Okay, so example A here, uh, it mentioned to show that the reaction is a second order. Okay, first and foremost, before anything, what I would like to write down is the rate law. So, rate is equal to K. Concentration of reactant is NO2. And then, it's actually uh, second lah. Uh, because this is a second order reaction, the power of 2. Okay, so from here, we have to write down what is actually the integrated rate law. Okay. So, for the integrated rate law, since this is a second order, this is actually the formula lah. 1 over AT minus 1 over A0 equal to KT. Okay, but then, for this uh, formula, uh, why we use A? Because this general information, the reactant is A. But then, because for this question, specifically, reactant is NO2, so we have to write down all of it is NO2. Okay, this is actually the equation. So, 1 over NO, alamak. NO2, 2 here. <laughs> okay. Minus 1, uh, 1 over NO2. Uh, not ni, it means that when time is equal to 0. Equal to KT. Okay, so from this equation, we have to rearrange it to get Y equal to MX plus C. So from here, this is our MX. So we're just going to let it be there. So what happened, this is my Y. Okay, why this is my Y? Because actually time taken ni, uh, when time here is 0, uh, concentration yang sini 0 0.01. Uh, if time taken here is 50, it's 0 uh, 0.0787. This is actually the initial, when time is to 0. So this is my 
uh, what exact uh, my C lah, kan? So let's rearrange it. So when we rearrange it, it will come like this. Y equal to m x plus c. Okay. So from here, we know that uh, we have to plot a graph, right? So for the case of x, uh, because x is straight away is t, uh, so we do not have to change anything. Finally, we're gonna take it straight away. But then our y, our y is actually one over concentration of our reactant NO two here. NO2, NO2. But then, the information given here is actually only NO2. So, what we're going to do, uh, we're not going to take it straight away. Uh, if you're going to take it straight away, salah lah. Uh, you have to substitute all of this into this one. Okay, so, what you will get uh, is actually this. So, here, I have zero substitute straight away for you. So, what we're going to do, when time to zero, just include kan. Uh, this is actually 0 0.01. So, this is all the values. Okay. So, from here, um, when time equal to 0, the first concentration is 100. Kan? So, how to plot the graph? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, again, it, it is y, um, y to mx plus c. Sorry. My y is actually 1 over n on no2. And my x is time. So this is my graph. Y, this is my x. Okay, so from here, okay, when time will go to zero, it's fine. For the for this graph, it's fine if you do not start from zero. So what I've got what I did here is actually a jagged line lah. Kalau fizik tak bagi eh. So a jagged line here. So I'm gonna start with hundred. Okay, so this is my graph. Don't forget the unit as well. Because one over concentration kan per molar lah. Okay. Uh, but then, as you can see here, all the plot, uh, all the point here, uh, does not um, uh, the straight line does not touch all the points. But it's fine because for the linear graph method, you have to do memang straight line lah. It got less lah. Um, there are several points that you do not touch. Uh, it's fine. So among it is a linear graph method. So that is actually the graph itself. Uh, so yang ini a bit of. Um, how to draw the graph lah. Okay, so you can pause it here. If you get unsure, boleh you tengok balik. So, this is actually for the second order. Time does not change anything. Uh, ini 1 over not ni, make sure lah. Substitute all of the value. For the case of first order ni, okay, so this is a first order. The given is actually concentration. Remember, concentration ni, uh, is actually here. The exponent negative 4 kan. So, sebenarnya, okay, so actually, because of this, we have exponent negative 4. Sebenarnya ni 170 exponent negative 4. You have to include it straight away lah. Uh, don't forget about this one. Okay. For the case of first order, let's look for the equation itself. For the case of first order reaction, it's actually ln. Uh, so ln A0 minus, uh, minus ln AT equal to KT. So we have to arrange it, rearrange it to get Y equal to MX plus C. So this is the equation when Y equal to MX plus C. Okay. So, again, our y is actually ln a, ataupun ln concentration of our reactant. So, make sure uh, for this, you have to determine ln N2O5. Oh, not nah, N2O5. Okay. Okay, how about the unit? Because it's actually ln, so it is unitless lah. Uh, so, there is no unit. Uh, so, gonna take it. So, make sure ln ni 176 exponent negative 4. Include kan. So, once you plot this graph, you should get a straight line. Biasanya, dekat sini, um, for the first order, it's actually a negative slope. Uh, second order tadi tu memang positif pun. Okay. So, that's it for this video.